Okay, I thought a little video for my phone would make it easier for you to see the differences between these three sheets. So this is the graphics transparency film, the printable. If you look really close at like the chair, see how it's kind of dotted looking? Like details kind of bead up on it. It does dry, the lettering's nice and crisp. If you see the shine on it, it kind of sticks up. Like you could feel the ink on it when it dries almost kind of sticky but it doesn't move it's there um, but then I am doing some tests today and this is Fixins sheets um, apparently it's meant for screen printing or something but somebody told me about these so I ordered in a pack of these they're not quite as clear so like here's one um, that is not in the bulb so you could see it um, it has kind of a foggy look to it. Um, this is the graphics film. So it's this one here for that bulb. And this is the fix-ins sheet. But once it's in the bulb, you really can't tell that it's not clear. You can still see the feathers really well behind it. But to me, this one's way more crisp. If you look at the chair, there's a lot less beading. And like in the little greenery there. It's a little bit more crisp versus the graphics sheet. If you look here, maybe I can get them both in one shot. I don't know. The right looks better to me. I think I like these fix-in sheets. Um, not outside of the bowl because it's, it's just not as clear. In the back, you can't see it nearly as well as the as the the graphic sheets but if you're putting feathers behind it that doesn't matter uh, this third one is vellum a lot of people were talking about vellum so I went ahead and tried those first complaint it's a little bit curled it doesn't get nice and flat second complaint is you can't hardly see the feathers at all it doesn't really I mean they're not transparent you know it's it's cloudy paper and um, the print is actually not quite as vivid either. So it's really difficult getting these to photograph or anything. But if you look at them side by side, the vellum is, is a lot more um, faded, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking these Fixins sheets. Um, I could share a link obviously I got them on Amazon the only downfall with the fix-ins was that um, the cheapest package was $30 but you got a hundred sheets so it, it's actually a really good deal if you're gonna be doing a lot of them instead of the graphics where you got six sheets and it's like eight bucks or something you know this costs a lot more the vellum I don't know it was somewhere in between you didn't have to buy $30 worth but I'm not a huge fan. I'm not gonna use the vellum. I guess I've just got a package of it for other crafting projects. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what they look like. Um, the pictures weren't working. I even scanned some in and the scans weren't working. So I thought the video was made, made it a little bit easier to see the differences. So, yeah. Okay, these are um, the inserts before I put them into the ornaments. This one is the graphics, how a photo prints. And if you look at it, you can see that every once in a while there's like a little spot that missed some of the, um, the coating. And so it didn't put any ink there. Um, or maybe that got scraped off of my printer, I'm not sure. I've just been ignoring them because by the time you get it in an ornament, you don't really notice that. But um, that is a thing with these graphics ones. Sometimes there's some flaws in them. Um, this is the Fixins, and it's much clearer, um, like more smooth. There's not any little scratches and flaws on it. And this one is like totally smooth to the touch. The the graphics is almost kind of um, sticky. Um, so if you put fake snow in, it sticks to the sticky part, so make sure you have it facing away from the snow. <laughs> um, otherwise, you'll just have like white stuff kind of sticking to the thicker parts. Um, but I'm going to put these in a bulb here and put feathers behind them so we can see what they really look like um, side by side. I didn't print a vellum one because, nah, 
I'm just not really into it, but um, it might be fine if it was a full photo like this because then you won't really see the feathers anyway, but I just don't like how you can't see through it. So um, I didn't bother printing a vellum one. So I'm gonna put feathers and stuff and come back to these two. Okay, graphics sheets, um, transparency sheets side by side with fixins, um, whatever they call their sheets. Um, I think the package says um, waterproof screen printing positive film. So whatever, but <laughs> um, so the graphics inside with feathers behind, um, you can see the flaws in the print. Um, but I highly doubt anybody would notice that and they're not all like that. Um, just some of them get some little lines through there, if you see kind of through her mouth. Um, but there's the graphics. Here is the fixin' sheets. And again, there's no flaws across her face. Um, they look blurry. It's just because my phone's having a hard time focusing on it through the, um, the bulb. But anyway, side by side of those two, the graphics versus the fixins, and I still I think I'm liking the fixins better. The darker colors are darker. Um, this light is not ideal, but anyway, I just wanted you guys to see the photo differences there because that's what most people will be using for photos. I'm just moving that light off to see if that makes it a little bit easier to see. That's why for my photography, like the the nice pictures, <laughs> I had all kinds of gear out because the bulbs are just really difficult to get pictures of. So anyway, there you go. We have the graphics. Focus, please. Graphics and fixin' sheets.